Why are millennials and Gen Z struggling today? It is the effing housing prices and rent prices. This is the problem that needs to be solved. In 1980, the house was 47,000 to qualify was 18,000 in income and the median household income was $21,000 and that makes sense or you could rent for 14%. Let's rapid fire through these years to get to today. 1990 was 78k, 21k to qualify, 38k median household income, 17% to rent, 2000, 105, 28,000 to qualify, 49,000 median household income, 16%. Now 2010, 180,000 30,000 to qualify, 50,000 median household income. 2019, $260,000 for the house, 40K to qualify, and 68,000 was the median household income. Yet it was still 25% to rent. But let's look at today. Today is 430,000 for the home. What do you need to qualify? $110,000, and the median household income is $81,000. What, and this 110, by the way, is with zero college loans, car payments, or credit cards, and a 20% down payment, which most people don't have 80 grand laying around. They're most likely going to put 3% down, and you need about $150,000. And guess what the rent is if you can't afford this, which most can't? 30% for the median household. But yet the single person who's not looking to buy a house right now, who's renting, they're spending 40% 